Hey everyone, welcome to October Favorites. Yes, it is November 1st. Actually today, I'm filming this on Halloween. <laughs> so I'm going for a vampy lip if you like it. Hey, October. Oh my God, stop. Time needs to stop going so quickly. Oh my God, October. I don't know, but November, I think November is gonna be off the chain because there is gonna be so much makeup being purchased. So let's talk skincare. Um, and I wanted to talk to you about this sunscreen I've been using. This is the La Roche-Posay SPF 15. So you've probably seen this at Target. Now here's the thing, there are a lot of formulas of the La Roche-Posay SPF. So they have um, the mineral sunscreen and you know they have all kinds of sunscreen. Anyway, the special thing about this one, and I'll show you, is the Mexoril. Mexoril? Um, that is an ingredient that is exclusive, well, or at least I know that is in this formula, and it is a encapsulated sunscreen that is what's really protecting your skin from the UVA rays, but also if you're like me and you're sensitive and you're almost allergic to sun, that it makes you get bumps and red and irritated even when you're wearing sunscreen, this is the ingredient that helps to stop that. And it was one of you that shared this with me, so thank you so much. I did find this at Target. I saw it at, um, did I see it at Ulta? I saw it at Ulta, okay, and it is um, a 24 hour long-lasting hydration. Be sure to get the active ingredients, e Sul 2%. Anyway, so I really like this. It's three ounces. It's going to last me forever. Other sunscreen, <laughs> other skincare. This, you guys, this is my little bubble tea mask. I love this. Look, I got the little straw spoon doohickey sitting on the side of it. If you saw my little bubble tea uh, mask video, you know what this is. Some of you were like, what's bubble tea? Um, bubble tea is a drink basically from Asia. I don't know if it is Thai or Korea or Vietnamese. Um, is it Vietnamese? Anyway. Um, it's very popular here in the Northwest. We have bubble tea bars everywhere. It's basically like a smoothie, or you can have green tea in it, or juice, or milk. It's a number of concoctions. And they have these like tapioca beads in it, and they look like bubbles. And they have these giant straws that are special just for being able to suck up those beads, which are like jelly. It's They're like fish eggs. They're gelatinous, but they're sweet. I don't like them. It's a texture thing. I cannot stand bubble tea in my mouth. <laughs> the bubbles from bubble tea in my mouth. Anyway, but I love this. Um, this is from Amazon. I can leave you the link. It's the black tea one, and it's the, from Etude House. Um, it's just very, very much hydration. Wow, that did not sound very proper, but it is like the most hydration. I don't use it as a sleeping mask. I just use it as a before my makeup pick me up if I'm feeling dry. Speaking of before my makeup, you guys, I have found the best primer and I almost don't want to talk too much about it because I want to actually have a whole entire video dedicated to it, but I also didn't want to not share it in my favorites because truth be told, I have been using this for several weeks. I bought this on Sephora.com. It's the J1 Jelly Pack. It's from Korea. It is one of the makeup grippers. If you keep getting all the emails from Sephora, this is one of them. And it is basically this clear gel, um, and it can be used as a moisturizer, as a mask, and a primer and basically I just put it on right before my foundation and it's a little bit sticky, it's a little jelly-like and then it just absorbs and it's, you know, and then I put my foundation on and I feel like my foundation is that much better. I'll leave the link to that on Sephora. 
that's all I'm going to say about this, but look for an actual, a dedicated video to this where I can demonstrate it and stuff like that for you. Yeah. Speaking of foundation, I love my Elf foundation. This is my flawless finish foundation from my bargain of the week. Um, anyway, look, I'm going to put it over the jelly, the J1 jelly pack and look how flawless that is. So you guys, this is six bucks. Um, you can get it on the Elf website. You can get it at Target or wherever you can find Elf in your area. I love it. I really do. Another foundation I am going to feature probably this week on my channel for you, but I found it and I am so happy I found it. I think, um, I think Wayne Goss has talked about it. It's, I bought it on Beautylish. It's from Makeup Atelier. It's um, probably something more familiar with those on the other side of the pond in France and the UK. It is made in France. So this is a makeup brand line, like a kind of a makeup artist line. And I've seen it for a long time on Beautylish and I'm just like, why have I not tried this? And all the re I'll and all the reviews of this foundation on the Beautylish website are like raving. So I got the shade FLW2B. And I actually think I got one, I'm like just a smidge too dark. Like I have to really kind of fudge it <laughs> on my neck with bronzer and blending and other stuff. So I really need a shade that's lighter than this or I can just add my shade drops, whatever. But um, this is a waterproof foundation. It is supposed to be full coverage. It's you know, like matte, but not drawing. It's kind of this fabulous combination of, you know, if you have dry skin, you can wear it. If you have oily skin, you can wear it. So I really enjoy it. It is, um, it's, you know, not drugstore, but I don't think it is terribly expensive, but I am in love with it. Something else you guys I'm going to talk about because they just deserve their due. And these are my two palette obsessions that right now are giving me life and I'm probably until the next palette comes along because dear heavens there is a new one every week um, and I'm actually controlling myself you guys as much as I feel like I am getting new palettes because the VIB Rouge sale is coming up and I know I'm going to be buying a couple of them um, I still feel like I've like controlled myself I didn't buy the Natasha Denona palette yet I don't know if I will Actually, let me know in the comments if you want me to buy the Natasha Denona palette for 160 bucks and review it for you. I mean, I will. I can bend based on peer pressure. Um, I just, I, nah. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> um, uh, yeah. So the Metal Matte Kat Von D palette, I did a whole video on this and I'm still surprised to see mixed reviews on it. I do not know how you don't love this palette. <laughs> Yeah, okay, because it's giant and it's 60 bucks, fine. But <laughs> the fact that you get these mattes and you get these metals, I mean, do you see my eyeshadow? I am wearing tinsel with velvet. So tinsel with velvet, and of course, like, you know, contour transition shades. Um, tinsel is such a lovely, like, it's this shifty metallic that... It's like green, it's like gray. Um, it just, I love it. It has even some flecks of, you know, like deep brown or purple in it. Like it's definitely a, a shift. And I put it on with a little bit of Fix Plus, but what I love about the metallics in this palette is you can take just like, you know, your dense kind of flat brush and you can put it in the metallic and you can press it on your lid and it has the intensity of like a wet shadow. Um, now I feel like it's set the bar so high because when I find other palettes that are like, oh, this shade is so pretty and it's, you know, like a shimmer or something metallic and I like dip my brush in it and if it doesn't just like pop off this, my face, I'm like, oh, oh yeah, that's not, that's not my metal matte palette and I'm so sorry. Bye bye No, I'm just kidding. Um, so anyway, I just, I really do. And you know, the other thing that I like about this is that I love playing with color. You guys see me wear crazy shades sometimes, but there are so many neutrals. It, like, yeah. So the Jouer palette I did a video on and I love this palette, you guys. And the reason being is because 
it is such good quality and it's 40 bucks okay so Jouer is always a favorite of mine and if you need a neutral palette this is your baby um, it's the little black dress of palettes it really really is um, it's cool tones it's warm tones it's shimmers it's mattes it's just a really good palette so if you got one after you saw my video I really hope you're enjoying it and that's the truth okay so I am all about the bargain I'm all about like finding the six dollar brush on Amazon that you know is just like an it cosmetic brush or something and I am just all about the I don't need to spend that much money on if I can find this or that but then you know occasionally I like dip into the extravagant pond because I have to I'm like I can't hold myself back so anyway Every time I see these bigger YouTubers who are putting on their highlighter, they are always using the Anastasia number 23 brush. And I'm like, it just looks like a fluffy eyeshadow. Look at all the dust. It just looks like a fluffy eyeshadow brush or maybe the Real Techniques, you know, setting brush. I mean, how different can it be? And honestly, maybe I haven't actually put my highlighter on with this brush yet, but I'll give it a try. I got this. I had a gift card at Macy's, so I went, and I'm like, I'm going to get this brush. And it's $25, I think. So when you put your highlighter on with this, it pops. Now, I would show you, but I'm also, I'm already a disco ball. So there is something about the, like, the way the bristles are fanned out, the way they're, the the sparseness of it, like they're not too dense, they're not packed in here. So I feel like it just distributes the product just right. And it gives you a more intense, I mean, not like crazy intense, but the way, you know, like sometimes you dip into a highlighter and you're a little bit disappointed on the pigmentation. But I feel like when you use this brush, it will always be like, yeah, that's like, look at that highlight, you know? So anyway, I'm a fan. I love it. I I feel like I caved, but it's definitely going in like the holy grail of, you know, products to have. Let's talk about October favorites that aren't beauty or makeup. Uh, my Bath and Body Works candle. This one is autumn, which is like, you know, I give about a 7 out of 10. But my favorite is the pumpkin cheesecake. Love it. Love it. Right now, still loving my marshmallow, latte, whatever, and then I love the pumpkin cheesecake because it's sweet and spicy without being too much of either. You got it? Okay. That I just wanted to share that with you because I'm kind of obsessed with my Bath & Body Work candles if you follow me on Snapchat. Um, yeah. And who isn't? Like, have you not signed up? for the cult of Bath & Body Works candles yet? Who are you? <laughs> Make your order today. Just kidding. Um, another one is this book that has been, I am so proud to say, written by my friend Alana from Mommy Shorts, the like internet empire of parenting websites. If you don't know Mommy Shorts yet, find her on social media. She has several Instagram accounts, I think Pink and NYC, um, average Parenting Problems and Mommy Shorts are the three. Does she have more than that? I follow her on Snapchat too. And she has two daughters, her and her husband, they live in Manhattan. It is like uber New York lifestyle that you just kind of go, but not like crazy over the top. We're not talking like, you know, Real Housewives of New York, like mega intimidating. It's like her kids, like they want, Ego waffles in the morning and she makes her coffee and like I love her hi Alana I love your snap story you know I do okay so she also has like the coolest because her kids are in Manhattan and they go to school with like other celebrities kids like she sees David Schwimmer at parties I'm just like what is your life anyway so she just launched her book which is remarkably average parenting I thought I would mention it to you guys because if anyone out there just loves the idea of knowing that other parents out there have picky eaters who will not eat a banana with too many like 
whole, you know, brown spots on it or the stringy things. <laughs> My two year old's rules for eating a banana is hysterical. And just like what it's like being pregnant and like. Um, plus, it's, it's like a coffee table book, like it has amazing photographs, which I think she took on her iPhone because her Instagram is beyond. Um, it has just her kids featured, let me show you this one. Oh, this, look how cute this is. I love what her editor did, like whatever her, you know, creative designer person came up with, maybe she came up with it, love it. But that is um, Mazzy's six now, or is she seven? And that's Harlow. Oh my God. And Harlow's three. Anyway, um, tons of funny stuff, great, relatable content in like a fun, you know, not like crazy novel, but like not huge coffee table book. It's kind of like a hybrid of the two. And so if you have someone who is expecting or has just had a baby, I just think this is a great gift for the holidays. Um, yeah, or a baby shower coming up. So, okay, those are my favorites. I will link everything that I can possibly link below. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great November. I will be seeing you here on the tube. I hope you subscribe and enjoy my videos, and I will see you next time. Bye.